let's hop in the car and go for a drive. So a couple people in the last video were wondering what kind of mode I'm going in. So when I'm in the canyons, I just always switch it over to in mode. And then also I just like to have the uh, the screen on in mode as well. So anyways, like I said, we're in Angeles Crest. It's a beautiful day and yeah, just excited to go for a drive. Get out of this little dirt road part. And let's go. This is one part of Angeles Crest that I've actually never been to before. Like I said before, earlier today, the part that I normally go to is closed. And so, yeah, I've never been on this part before, but it is a beautiful day. It's about 75, end of April. So it's just good to get back out there. Like I said, um, the car has, it just turned 13,000 miles. I don't have any specifics for these, this video yet. I just kind of want to make some commentary about the car and what's going on. So, yeah, if you're interested in that, like I said earlier, this is the uh, 2022 Hyundai Elantra inline. Um, yeah, I've had this car, um, yeah, well over a year, about a year and a half. I bought it December of. 21? That sounds right. I think my first thought is other people that make these kind of videos, I'm really curious about their GoPro setup or just adding different angles on the outside of the car. I know the main uh, YouTubers that I watch, like the Topher, Tedward, they have a hat and the GoPro is literally in their peripheral vision. And I tried that a couple times and I just can't see the road. It's, it's too distracting for me. So I'm just wondering what's the best kind of GoPro setup when you're trying to drive and concentrating on driving as well. Oh, here comes some bikes. Oh boy, this guy looks nuts. Oh my God. <laughs> the people that uh, ride motorcycle motorcycles up here, much respect to them. I mean, there's some pretty talented people that come up and drive up here. I mean, they just come up and absolutely have tons of skill on these roads. Not a chance that I could keep up with that guy in this car. No chance that you'll be able to keep up with a motorcycle on these kind of roads. Because they could take the corner so quick. into all the technical specs about this car. It's been around for a year, so I'm sure you have an idea. 
All as I can tell you, of it, what I told you in the previous video, is this is where this car comes to life, 100%. Canyon roads. Oh man, it's so fun to drive up here. And actually, this part um, of Angeles Crest, the road is much better. There's not as many uh, boulders in the road, and yeah, I mean, it's midweek, so it's not too crowded at all. Great time to come up here. Audio recorder in the glove compartment. Try to pick up some recordings of the engine, and I can hear it sliding around in there. Highly doubt it's going to be good audio. And now we're approaching this truck, so might have to pull over. <laughs> He's actually taking those quarters pretty fast in that big ass truck. It's hilarious. There's two cars in front of me. I might need to stop the recording and catch up in a minute. Unless I can pass anytime soon. <clears throat> Pardon me. So anyway, what's going on? What's shaking? What's going on in the world? Had a couple of photo shoots, uh, actually did land a car to film, that video will be coming out soon. Not a ton going on with photography or anything right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pass both these people. Let's find out. Man, this truck drives quick.
thing that I am excited about, actually this week in San Francisco, they're gonna be having Luftgekult, which is one of the biggest Porsche events in the world. And so that's gonna be Saturday, Sunday in San Francisco. This is gonna be the ninth time the event has been held. So really excited. As I mentioned in some other videos, I had tickets to go last year which was in San Pedro, and I was actually in South Korea, so I couldn't make it, but I am excited to just go photograph and check out uh, some cool Porsches. I think uh, Saturday they're gonna be um, all the older ones, and which is crazy, because those old Porsches are going for insane amounts of money. I mean, they look cool. I mean, they're great cars. A Porsche is one of my dream cars to ever own. So, yeah, I'm excited to just go check out the event. It's, uh, I don't know, I think it's about 45 minutes outside of San Francisco. It's actually in an old naval base. So it should be a pretty good setup. So I will be heading out to San Francisco this weekend to photograph that. That's um, probably the most exciting car related thing that's going on with me. Um, just as a bit of curiosity, I did go to CarMax and I got this car appraised. I was, I was just curious. I was just like, oh, how much is this car plummeting? What's the value of it now, you know, in the used market? And what's your guess how much CarMax will give you for the car? $30,000. Which it is what it is when you buy a new car. I mean, the value plummets. It is what it is. Oh, no. The Civic is in the way of the tunnel. Oh, my God in heaven. <laughs> no, what a waste. How sad. Holy shit, what is she doing? Oh, she's going to be a nightmare. I know it. Oh, pull over, babe. Come on, baby. Pull over. I think she might be driving the first Civic literally ever built on planet Earth. It looks like she's living out of that thing. I don't know what is going on. There's like a dog or something in the front. This is the kind of person that's not going to pull over. I know it. I promise you. No road etiquette at all. But you got to love humanity, you know? You love humanity no matter what. Pull over, baby. No, I'm just kidding. There hasn't been a place for her to pull over yet. <laughs> so I don't know if I was totally shocked about the 30000 appraisal offer from CarMax. I'm not looking to get rid of this car. I think it is something to consider if you are buying a, a new car. I mean, some people might not know going into buying a new car just how much it goes down in value. And to looking at the used market side of things is not a bad idea. I think that that might be especially true if you're going to buy camera equipment. And all these people are spending hundreds. Oh, she did pull over. Thank you, baby. All these people are spending so much money on camera equipment and I never understand, understood that. Like, invest your money into good lenses and lighting. I mean, who cares about all these expensive camera bodies? It's insane. GoPro does make it a little bit harder to see the road. It's just a slight distraction, I think. 
but it's the only way you're gonna get it filmed. through the kind of cars that will handle a road like this in the same price segment. I think a Miata does really well in these kind of settings. Probably a WRX would be very good. Of course, the almighty Type R. Before I bought this car, I obviously did my research and I test drove so many cars. I actually really enjoyed driving a Miata, but I am just too big for that car and I hated the fact that there's just no storage space. It could barely fit a camera bag, let alone a large suitcase, who knows, I just didn't think it was going to be all that practical, but I, I just felt like, man, you could do a couple of mods to, a, to that kind of car, and it is so light and so much fun to drive. What else did I drive? I, dr I test drove a WRX, which I really enjoyed, and an STI, which I was really surprised about. I just thought that was going to be horrible gas mileage for the STI. But I would but I will say that WRX really impressed me a lot. I think the shifter was better. And I did try test drive and I did test drive my buddy's 2017 Type R. I love that car. And what else? I think that that might be it. And then I just kind of wasn't willing to pay the amount they wanted for the Type R. Oh, come on, brother. Are you kidding me? it is a little difficult to talk and drive at some points so I hope you all are just enjoying Angeles Crest I really need to get back out to Malibu I think I'll be heading out there next week to film that new that other car video that I'm gonna make I finally got my hands on another vehicle that I can film which is cool so that's about it. I mean, what are you guys looking to buy? I mean, are there people watching this channel that are really torn between um, what car to buy? I mean, I do have some experience with cars, motorcycles, stuff like that. My very first car was actually a, a Mazda RX-7. And I love that car. It, so I started, uh, my first car was a manual RX-7. I loved it. It was one of the ones that had an old rotary motor. <laughs> and I just, I had a blast. And I just remember, I just, I got in a car accident and totaled the car. Uh, should I be passing these motorcycles? They're all in a group. Probably not. Yeah, and I did have a couple of motorcycles too. I think as you get older, maybe the 
thrill of going fast and all that just kind of wears off. I think you're more concerned about getting injured. But yeah, I did have, I had fun um, riding motorcycles. I think those days are long gone. But when I do see like a group like this on a motorcycle, it just seems like so much fun. Have that adventure, you know, wind beneath your wings. Oh, which way am I going? Oh, I'm going right. They're all going right. Some type of hog heaven in front of <laughs> what is going on. Alright, I had to pull over there. Excuse me, I think the battery died or the GoPro overheated and just shut off. And I wanted to let those motorcycles go by. But yeah, if you have any specific questions about this car, let me know. I'm really interested in uh, people that watch this channel or they happen to get the algorithm, the video sent to them. What are you looking at buying? What do you drive? Do you come up here? Where's your videos at? I don't feel like I have any like real original thoughts to add about this car. I keep saying again and again and again and again. Get a lot of bang for your buck with this car. And I'll leave it at that. It's up to you to decide how to spend your money. But I promise you, if you buy this car, you will not be disappointed. I promise you that. again. Maybe this guy has a death wish. <laughs> Pull over, brother. Oh, God. Now he's going to leave me in a bad position. Gotta be honest, man. People that drive bikes up here, they got a lot of cojones. I would never do that. about is who are your favorite car youtubers you know one thing that I like about doing the car stuff is I mean it's a it's a GoPro and maybe a, a microphone it doesn't seem to be like all this uh, crazy filmmaking skills that you need had need to have or I don't know maybe not even like all this stuff that YouTube makes you do about like telling a story or blah 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 and all that crap like the car is the story you driving it is the story so I mean I'm really interested in this kind of segment this genre I mean strap a GoPro on go great get some great cars and drive some cool roads in California and the cool thing about California is you can do this 
you know, year round. It's not like it's a, a place where it's dependent on the weather. And that's why I'm, I'm curious to kind of get into this segment because I mean, I really just enjoy driving and being in new places and exploring. It's one of the things that really gets me going, especially if I've never been there before. Like I'm super excited to go up to San Francisco to see that event. I will leave a link in the description if you don't know what it is. I know year by year it's getting just way more popular. I think Larry Chen actually does the photography for it. I bought, uh, I think I bought one of the photography books for that event, uh, which was volume four. But anyways, that's kind of the end of Angela's Crest. And uh, yeah, as always, thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments any questions, concerns, whatever you have about this car. And I would be happy to answer them. Also, let me know in the comments what car do you drive or what car do you want to drive? What's your dream car? If there are any videos that you would like me to do vehicle related, let me know. If you have a way uh, that I could film or photograph your car, let me know. If you live in Los Angeles, I'd be happy to come up and meet up and drive with you and um, hang out, whatever. I'm not opposed to that. And look who we caught up to. The 1954 Honda Civic. <laughs> oh, what is this up here? What is this? Oh my God. Looks like a new GT3. Oh my God. Those are the cars that are going to be at the event on Sunday. Nice. Anyways, until the next time, peace out. Thanks for tuning in.